Hey, what's happening, y'all? Welcome back to Give Us The Works. I'm your brother in the footwork, DJ Cornerstone, and today I'm interviewing the phenomenal dancer, B-boy popper, locker, all kinds of stuff, just cold with it. Most recent winner of the Red Bull All Styles battle, none other than Kid Nimbus. So y'all, don't go nowhere, because it's going to be good. Kid Nimbus about to give us the works. What's up, y'all? It's your brother in the footwork, DJ Cornerstone, and you are watching Give Us the Works on the Footworkout channel, where I interview various dancers, DJs, and producers. So listen up and pay attention while our guest today gives us the works. All right, is it working? Yeah. <laughs> Ah, there we go. Finally, yeah. give me one second. Let me, <laughs> let me, Real, let me man. get this seat going. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Go ahead, man. Get yourself situated. Get comfortable. Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> man, um, do you mind if I eat too? Yeah, not at all. Okay, man, cool. Because I'm. <laughs> well, I was actually. I really didn't mean to wear the shirt either. Like, is that the all so... styles battle? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh. man. Purely coincidental. I promise. That's, it. That's all good. What you got going on? Is some shrimp fried rice or something? Nah, man. This is a uh, this is Indian. This is a uh, chicken biryani. Uh, I like to switch. Oh, right yeah. on. There, yes, sir. I I dig that, man. I'm a food connoisseur myself. <laughs> uh, yeah, this um, it's good stuff. Uh, super flavorful. I think my only thing is, bro, my uh, my stomach doesn't necessarily. <laughs> yeah, my my youngest son. They say, "Hey, man, I got the ear pies in. You ain't gonna hear him, but he can hear you though. You can say hi. Boy, get out of here." <laughs> uh, yeah what were you saying though but yeah yeah my stomach doesn't normally agree with me when i eat it but it's okay the oh, flavor yeah. makes <laughs> it, it's all right to hurt yourself every once in a while man you know sometimes you gotta mm -hmm. eat that spicy food too let it tear you up a little bit yeah, there you go so you know the yeah. vibe. <laughs> <laughs> straight yeah. up man well man i want to say thank you for taking the time out so i can Get this interview with you, man. Yeah, thank you for having me. Oh, man, you know, uh, I, I don't know if I should say his real his real name, if I should use his uh, professional uh, name, but uh, Arrow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, when he told me about you, I was like, man, I got to interview this dude, man. Man, that's my <laughs> guy, dude. But yeah. We, oh, man. It's good old days, and it's actually crazy, too, because... Um, I had, I had went up to Minnesota, um, oh, like, just to, like just to kick it, uh, with, uh, with a friend of mine and, uh, I was actually walking my friend's dog. Right. And then he, somebody drove past me and I was like, who is this guy staring at me? I'm like, whatever. Right. And then he hit me and he's like, bro, is that you? I was like, what? That was you? I'm like, and man, I had <laughs> years. It had been some time. It had been at least. I guess it was, ooh, it was 2008, so wow. No, not in that eight. No, that's way too early. It was like 2010, and then I think I had saw him in 2020, so it had been 10 years, I think. Oh, yeah, he told me that, he told me that story, man. <laughs> yeah, that's all, that's all good, man. Hey, <laughs> was, was, oh, so first off, I'm just going to say this. If there's anything that you don't want to talk about, just say, hey, man, I don't want to talk about that or whatever. All right. But I, what's up? <laughs> I'm an open book. <laughs> oh, all right. Cool. Cool. Well, man, the show is called Give Us the Work. So it's kind of like back in the day where if you wanted something with everything going in, you know, they say, hey, man, give me the works. So we're trying to find out everything about Kid Nimbus, man. Uh, yes, so, sir. <laughs> Cause uh man, uh cause I'm I'm especially excited. Cause I'm gonna tell you this. First off, I'm gonna say this. Most of the, the shows mostly centered around Chicago, like footwork and house music, whether it's dancer, DJ or producer. 
And you know, it's Chicagoland area, so it still counts, but it's something special. So I need you to tell everybody watching where you're from. Man, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Start off by saying this: I work in the city. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, know there's, I know there's that disconnect. We're like, you from the suburbs? You ain't from the city? It's like, if you pass this line, you ain't from the city, big dog. I'm like, you're right. That's fair. Um, yeah, I'm uh, I'm from the suburbs, really, but my family was military, and so oh. yeah, so they were. Um, well, my mom specifically, she was Air Force, and so I was with her. So we went from. Ohio, like the Air Force Base, over to uh, Germany, to their Air Force Base. And then uh, when she was honorably discharged, we came back to the uh, south suburbish area. Um, and then my, she found a place out in uh, Naperville. And then from Naperville, you know, we moved into a house in Joliet. And I would say I would been, I've, I've been in Joliet the longest. Um, up until like high school and after high school, I when I graduated high school, I went to uh, NIU, so I was in DeKalb, so, which is like not even in the suburbs at that point, it's like the state, like ain't nothing out there but like that college. Yeah, so um, afterwards I came back to kind of like the South Suburb-ish area because I got a job, like right after uh, college, I, uh, I got a job at the University of Chicago at High Park. Um, and so I didn't want to live too close to the city um, no, I mean, it's kind of like, it's weird, right? Like Hyde Park is nice over like on 53rd. Um, but then, you know, the area around is still kind of in. So I was like, all right, like, and I didn't want to get like, I wanted to get a good distance, but not too, too close, you know, just so, um, at the time I wanted to live like in the middle of like my, my job and my friends and my family. Um, and you know, looking back on it, it probably wasn't the wisest decision, <laughs> but uh -huh. But yeah, so that's where I'm. I currently reside, like in the New Lenox area at the moment. Okay, man, mm -hmm. right on. There's a, I'm gonna tell you, there's a good dental. Uh, there's a good dentist in New Lenox. If you don't have one, check out the tooth company. I'm gonna be doing a, uh, I do something called Bob with it, where I highlight black-owned businesses. So I just started that up. Okay. Yeah, I did it before, but I didn't make it like an official title or nothing. I work. Yeah, but, check out the tooth companies, Black Owned Dentistry, and it's live. Wow. Okay, bet, yep. bet. Yeah. Orthodontist is black too. I was like, wow, this is actually, and I didn't even realize, like, I, I took that for granted. You know what I'm saying? Because I was like, wow, you don't really have faces in that, like, in that level of professionalism. So it's actually great to see. So definitely I will check it out too. Because, man, like, sorry if I'm oversharing, but like, I get my braces off in on November 11th. And so, yeah, so definitely I gotta get a good cleaning after I. So yeah, definitely send me that info, man. I'm definitely here for it. I will, man. Most definitely. Yep, you won't be disappointed. So sure. yeah, so you've been all over. That's cool, man. That is real cool. You and uh, Arrow kind of have a similar uh, uh, life in that sense because I know he's been at a bunch of different places too. Yeah, yeah. It it it's interesting because it, it like allows you to. I would say for me, it, it allowed me to be around a whole bunch of um, different groups of people. Mm -hmm. You know, because like the moving around is crazy because it's like, dang, like you don't really have no friends that you can, I mean, you have friends, but it's not like you can just go around the corner and visit them, you know what I'm saying? Especially after you move. Um, but I think like, especially going from like the Naperville to Joliet area, they kind of allowed me to see all the different types of groups of people um, just yeah. to kind of like, more social and not just social in the sense that I can say, Hey, how you doing? But like be culturally in tune. So I'm super great, uh, super grateful for it. And you can tell this with, uh, arrow arrow too. I mean, I call him Sterling, but that's my guy, but you know, yeah. Okay. You know, you let it slide. So since you did it first, I'm just, <laughs> I bet. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Old Sterling. That's my guy, man. That's very, very wise young man there. Yeah. So man, let me get into it. How how long you been dancing? Well, um, let me see. I've been dancing. I would say professionally, like in the quote unquote big leagues, for I would say five years. Um, mm -hmm. but I don't think I actually started um until a guy named Mike told me about it. Cause mind you, like. 
I think it had been in like seventh grade at the time, right? And I was back in, I was, I think I was back in like oh, no, six, oh, seven, I don't know. Um, I had like no dance ability whatsoever. My, uh, my family was like, yo, like they would call me downstairs and like just to laugh at me, do some dance and stuff. Cause they said I had no rhythm. I looked crazy. I'm so serious. Like I promise you, like I was never like, you know, I was never like rhythm, rhythmically, if that's even a word, in depth. Um, and so it was crazy. So I think it was like in seventh grade, I started to like kind of like play with a little something, something, but I don't think I was any any good. Um, freshman year, I met a guy named Mike, uh, rest his soul. But he was like, like he's like, yo, like you, you're dope. You know what I'm saying? And he's like, I see. He's like, have you heard of like the Jabwalkies? I'm like, I heard of the Jabwalkies. Like, have you heard of the Poriotics? I'm like, yeah, man, I'm a big fan. He's like, oh, do what? So we started to talk shop, you know. Um, so from there, uh, me, Mike, um, a guy named Lejean and a guy named Kevin, we were like, yo, we should just like link up and just like dance after school, like some like dance sessions or whatever, like no big deal. Um, mm-hmm. I was like, um, so we made the club and uh, then in Sterling came too, right? Now, mind you, dude, he was raw. Like we were, we were, we were like, group, like we, we thought we were cold, right? This dude comes out of nowhere, this tall guy classes. Like, wow. Um, he just starts snapping, right? <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Um, and so then I think it had been uh, the year before. I think it had been the year before we went to um, we went to like the spring assembly, and uh, from there, like we were like we got to perform for that. Like I think the st- the the auto, like the field house packed about like what two thousand or so people. Mm-hmm. I was like. That would be so dope if we could just do that. You know what I yeah. mean? It's like wow, like I like the way it felt. You know what I'm saying? Because mind you, like I was a, I was the the person in high school to where like I wouldn't necessarily say I got picked on unless it was from like the sports teams that I was actually uh, on. But like I wasn't, I wasn't really noticed. Like it was just like oh, like yeah, that's him. You feel me? Like I kind of stuck to myself. But like people's place after school. Um, and mind you, like that stuff didn't happen until after, um, after I started the dance club with Mike and them. So I, it, you know, I was I went from what, cross country to track, from track and went to tennis, and I was just like, yo, like I, I'm just like I'm just I'm not as physically developed as these guys. Like these guys were like 21 year olds and like 16 year olds' bodies, dude. I was actually a 16 year old in a 16 year old body. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I was just like, yeah, you know, whatever. I'm gonna just make my own thing, and so we did that, and um, it was cool. I get to college, you know, this guy named Nate. Uh, he kept bothering me. Now, mind you, I was already kind of performing and doing whatever uh, on campus, you know, just like talent shows. You know, he did mm-hmm. part of the organization called Expressions. Um, it was just like kind of like a not an open mic, but a way for like artists to those. Um, and uh, the guy named Nate, he's like, yo, bro, like you should go to these battles, like he's like you're dope enough but blah I'm like man first of all leave me alone like I'm, I'm I got enough going on I was a bi- I was a bio major right yeah. and he's like nah dude like you gotta go to these battles he's like I promise you so I was like all right I'll go you know what screw it why not so we go to this battle mind you this is all the way somewhere over in Ogden on the west side this is mm-hmm. just shady shady area and we go in and there's like a whole bunch of cats that just doing crazy they're popping you know what I'm saying they're breaking they're crumping i'm just like wow and i just i felt i felt nervous because i had never been in an environment to where there were other people that could actually match me you know what i'm saying like mm. usually there were like other people well there were there would be other, i've been in environments with other dancers but i hadn't actually felt the whole yeah, somebody can top you and you just don't know it, you know? Mm-hmm. And so, you know, I, 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 I battled and I think that was like my first battle, the battle, that girl I lost to actually, it's funny, Katana, the one that, uh, battled in Red Bull too, a few weekends ago. Uh, okay. she, she was the one that I lost to, but like, it was, it was crazy. Cause there was a whole bunch of, I wouldn't say controversy, but it was just a whole bunch of like, talk about it they're like nah I don't feel like Kid Nimbus won he he got he got robbed and somebody's like nah like he definitely lost because Katana blah 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 and mind you this is my first battle right so I'm like bruh what what am I this is a lot right yeah um, 
but then things just started to to to, to take hold and, and I just battles and one thing literally just led to another you know so. okay man all right that's the, where was this what's the name of the place that was on uh, on Ogden uh what was it? I think it was uh, I think it was the firehouse so okay. you were in Lawndale I I don't know <laughs> listen I, I didn't know, know that spot <laughs> so <laughs> if this is what I'm thinking about so back in the day and Sterling's been there before too there was a church, Lawndale Community Church, which is on Ogden, West Side. Mm-hmm. And there they had uh, within it, they would do on Saturdays a uh, thing called the House, the House Covenant Church, which was the first hip hop church of mm. Chicago, wow. which in like the third of the United States, because the first is in New York, the second was in Miami. Right. So there you had Pastor Phil Jackson would occasionally uh, have these footwork battles and stuff. So mm-hmm. we was there for a couple of them, but um, I know, and then some time after that, they eventually got their own building. They bought the old firehouse that was like a block away, the end of the block of the church. Mm. Yeah, so- I, I haven't been able to get in there yet. <laughs> Man, like, I mean, it was set up like for mm-hmm. dancers now. oh like this is really cool like they had an upstairs area with mirrors and stuff i was like wow like this is this is fire you know yeah yeah it's actually crazy man i man i never forget that day i um because it was cold it was like sometime in january uh-huh. me trying to look good i had like a, a skinny ass bomber on and uh-huh. and, and uh, because i was just like i was not equipped for the weather at all <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, but yeah, bro. That was that's really it. And, um, I think it was I, I had graduated uh, college, and around this time, right, I was like, man, I don't know if I really have what it takes for this thing. Because prior to like, I maybe won like one or two jams, which he is so adorable. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. He said you're adorable, man. Don't tell, we can't tell him too much because he get away with stuff because his mom be like, you can't do that to him because he's adorable. I was like, uh, whatever. <laughs> oh, man. Um, so, yeah, I, you know, and I, I think at the time I was, um, I felt really, really, I felt discouraged because I wasn't winning like I thought it was. Now, mind you, I didn't know that most people don't win any battles, at least within their first three years of competing, right? Mm-hmm. I had no, I didn't know that. And so I had already won like maybe one, two, three jams at the most, uh, maybe four or five, okay, uh, like four or five um, up until uh, like 2018. And so I was like, man, like, I don't really know if I have what it takes to do this. Like, this is just, uh, you know? And so I never, I think it was around the time uh, World of Dance 2018 came up, right? And I was like, you know, I don't, I'm like, I don't really want to go and ba- I don't want to go to battle, but I've never been to World of Dance before. Yeah. Um, they had it every year. So I'm like, you know what? Skip it. Like if it's, it was $50 for a ticket. That's outrageous, but oh. outrageous. But I was like, you know what? Like, I know it's not just a dance battle. Like they have competition. Of course they have the competition, but they also have merchandise. They got uh, performances, showcases from, you know, all types mm-hmm. of talented individuals and so i was like all right you know fine I, I, and i'm obviously i'm gonna battle like i'm definitely gonna get my money's worth like right, go upstairs mm-hmm. so i had I competed and and i i was like it would be so crazy if i actually won the the head-to-head you know world of dance the, like the battle aspect right and to bring a world of dance trophy home and you know i was up on that stage and i was like hey yo like I'm never here right now. <laughs> like I'm never here, like on the world yeah. of the day. Now, right? Like I had people blowing up my phone. They're like, yo, bro, like I see you on World of the Dance. Like, this is crazy. This is huge. Da, da, da. And I'm sitting here like, yo, I I I've never. You know what I mean? Like, this is just yeah. so crazy. And so when I had one, I was like, 
I'm like, you're lying. Like, you're lying. Like, this is crazy. Like, no way. Like, I did that. You feel me? And and the whole and and honestly, like, my dance career just took like a crazy, crazy trajectory upwards. Cause I think at the time I was I was I was good, but I don't think anybody really understood the potential that I had, and neither did I. Mm. Um, so you know, when when I had one world of dance, when I had won that trophy, it was like, yo, like, okay, you definitely have what it takes to do this because you went to world of dance at your, you know, your first time and you won that. That's wow. never, that's never happened in the history of ever. People have been going to that competition for six, seven, 10 plus years and have never won a trophy. And you just decided to go in one day and said, all right, let's see what happens. And here you go. And then from there, it went from, judging to winning countless jams i think within the 2019 2020 ish year like prior to covid i had won a total of i want to say out of the maybe 20 battles i went to i had won 16 and so i was like all right okay <laughs> yeah you're like you got something there yeah so, man that's that's dope man so you talked about world of dance which i've never been but i know about it um the red bull we got to talk about the red bull because that's recent and you got the shirt on so for those watching i'm gonna end up putting this on a podcast too so ladies and gentlemen that are tuning in we got with us the the amazing dancer b-boy kid nimbus oh man tell no. us about <laughs> man Mm. Yeah. I um it's actually funny. I actually I used to break too. And that's kind of like my background. I actually call I had I called myself B Boy Nimbus, but I had mm. stopped breaking, like primarily breaking, like doing a lot of forework and stuff because it took a toll on my body. But oh, man, yeah. dang man, uh where do I start? <laughs> um first things first. Um, I have to give a big shout out to Lam because he definitely played a role. And that was the guy that I actually went against with in the finals, but he actually played a role with the uh, marketing team for Red Bull. And he mm -hmm. had enough and had enough faith in me to have me as one of the uh, competitors. But I think it's really interesting, man, Red Bull. I was, I was in the midst of like applying for a job you know, for applying for a different job because the one that I was in and currently in right now, at least for the next week and a half, um, I I was, it, it took a toll on my mental, right? Mm. I got to get out of this job. And I mind you, I was doing maybe six, seven, I was doing like 10 plus interviews a week because I was really focused on getting out of there, right? And I knew I had gotten invited to do Red Bull, I think, and like a little shortly after March, because I had I had done really well at a competition in Atlanta. Oh, and, all right. Mm, so I I you know, I did really well, and so I guess from there, you know, I got invited, and um, you know, up in like up until like now, this is like the actual weekend, right? I I'm talking to my girl. I'm like I'm stressed the heck out, and it wasn't because like the dance. It wasn't dance. I was just like yo, like this is crazy because for whatever reason there there is a good group of people that don't want to make themselves known but have just the crazy micro profession of just straight up denying everything that i've done in terms of dance right like they just like they don't want to see me win i i get haters but there's a difference between like somebody just saying like it sucks versus yeah no nah, i don't really think you deserve what you've gotten you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. I know when Red Bull had sent me that flyer, I was like, I was like, man, like, okay, <laughs> okay, you know, like, I, I'm gonna post a flyer, and I know, I know it's already gonna uh, gonna shake some people up, right? Um, so that's what I was, I was kind of concerned about, and I think you know the actual venue was crazy. Like, they invite us. Red Bull is super nice to us. You know, saying they give us a plush hotel, super plush. Uh, yeah. They they take us to Talia Hall. They had us. Uh, interview with WGN like just just ill just so ill like you know um I'm like dang like I'm gonna be on the news like crazy and then and, and the guy and go figure the guy 
the, the interviewer, he had asked uh, me, uh, DeAndre, and he's like, and P-Top too, one of the competitors as well. He was like, that's where you guys think you're top five. And my behind said, yeah, definitely top five. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, great. Now I really got to back it up because I said this on the news. <laughs> you know? oh, 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 man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so honestly it was just a dope experience and um you know we get to the we get to like the mixer right because that's where they actually revealed the um like the brackets on who you're going to go against because they had everybody's adding and they they draw them on you know this person's going to go with this person and um oh boy that was the most stressful thing because people had heard of me but they they didn't really think anything of me and Everybody was going up to DeAndre because DeAndre used to be a member of, uh, of TFK at one point, you know, the Future Kings. And so he already had for himself, like, blue check, verified, all that. Like, everybody's like, yo, yeah, da, da, da. And then here I am in a puffer jacket next to my girlfriend, like, all right, so I don't really know anybody. This is a mixer. I don't know. I don't like talking to strangers like that, you know. Um, but, yeah, but, you know, they brought out the, the, um, the it's like a giant board like red bull certified crispy and they're like uh so you're gonna go against this person and i said "Ooh!" and it's crazy because the person i actually had won against in uh the the first bat, like in the first round mm -hmm. he was the judge of the of the atlanta battle that i gotten that i participated in prior to getting invited and the funny yeah. I, I like dance is a very very opinionated based sport you feel me so it mm -hmm. was interesting like I had swept through like six seven people in a row and she voted against me like at the very end and I wasn't mad I was like okay all right well yeah so it kind of it was interesting you know what I'm saying for that mm -hmm. to be <clears throat> the top the top 16 but yeah you know one thing led to another dog and sure enough is just it just still honestly doesn't feel real like they're already starting to get um plans to get uh the dc finals underway and i'm like okay. this this is so crazy you know like i'm doing this for dance like what you feel me like i can't i can't make it up i can't you know man that's amazing there's something interesting too because i knew i know p top is part of the era and i knew that they were performing i didn't think that if you could if you perform that you could also participate and compete mm -hmm. so okay yeah, that's, that's all good then all right mm -hmm. but yeah man your your talent man hey is it, making is making a way it's making man. a way for you so <laughs> I'm grateful i'm very very grateful um and honestly i think it's interesting too um you know there are so many talented dancers up there you know what i'm saying Anya, um, Sid, um, Insidious, uh, Katana, Energy, you know, uh, Kit Kat, um, Nutella K, like they're super the P top for Kimo, like they're they're amazing at uh, what they do, and I think it, it it that it's interesting because I think when when it comes down to like success and or luck, it's like when opportunity meets preparation, you know what I'm saying, and crazy how like and not just red bull but just any dance event that i've thrived in it's always because i like to believe that i was always as ready as i needed to be for that given moment you know like uh mm -hmm. i look back and i'm like dang like i didn't really like the way i did you know what i'm saying but at the end of the day i can't take that away from myself that i did it you know what i mean um and sure it could have looked a lot nicer but it's still mine you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. like so it's interesting god yeah talent's a funny thing but well, that's it for today's show i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you learned a lot hey but check it out support our guest of the day our guest information will be listed on the screen she'll be looking at it right now uh, the social media contacts uh, the individual websites and all that and stay tuned because we will be continuing our conversation next week on wednesday give us the works every wednesday with your boy dj cornerstone but until then take care of yourself god bless you 
and footwork out. Footwork out. Footwork out.